Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tony from Lomo Paintball, and today I'm gonna do a quick overview of the Die Rised Maxed. First off, before I start this interview, guys, please hit the like button, please hit the notification bell, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. So let's get on with this overview. All right, guys, this is the new Die Rised Maxed. So basically, I'll start from the barrel and go down the gun. Uh, some key features. So this is a 14 inch two piece barrel. Uh, it's gonna give you better accuracy, better distance out there on the field compared to the stock um, original rise barrel. So next we're gonna go down from the barrel into the regulator. This is still the Hyper 3 regulator. It's been proven over time. It's been on a ton of different guns and this regulator definitely keeps you in the game. Consistency is great and uh, it's just been proven over time. So next thing I'm gonna do is going from the regulator down into the ASA, which you can notice on the this side when I flip it over, this is actually an on-off ASA. So you can actually turn it on, turn it off, adjust your air source, you don't just screw it right in and it automatically puts the air into the gun. So great feature to have um, and I'll move on from there. So next, what I'm going to say is actually, this is the UL frame. It's like a 45 degree hourglass frame. So it fits super, super comfortable into your hand. And it just feels, it almost feels natural. So it's some of these frames you out there, you hold the gun, you're not really sure. Like, I don't know, it's kind of uncomfortable for me. If you've never held one of these UL frames, you need to, they're absolutely fantastic. Up from the frame, um, I'm gonna go right into the trigger. This is an ad adjustable trigger, so you can, um, there's set screws on the inside here. So basically what you can do, use your Allen wrench, you can tighten or loosen depending on how uh, long or short you want the pull on the trigger that activates the micro switch on the board. So since we're in the grip frame area, this is an updated solenoid from the old Proto Rail. This is called their new ramp solenoid. It's supposed to be more efficient and uh, work a little bit better for you overall. All right guys, so after that, I'm gonna go into this feed neck. This is an all metal clamping feed neck. For you guys out there like, well, that's not really that big of a deal. Having an all metal clamping feed neck to hold that hopper nice and tight uh, during gameplay is super crucial. You don't want your hopper flopping around or falling off the gun in the middle of gameplay. Down from the feed neck, I'm gonna go into the bolt. This is a new die rised Fusion bolt, they call it. Uh, supposed to be super efficient for you guys and a very, very smooth shot out there. From the bolt on the inside, I'll just take this uh, two-piece barrel off here and get a camera shot straight down on the inside. Right through here, they do have the new M2 eye pipe on the inside. So if you happen to do break any paint, uh, which you shouldn't because this gun does come with anti-chop eyes, but if you do, there's an eye pipe on the inside. You can pull it right on out. It cleans super easy. So this is the eye pipe, pulls right on out. You can clean it and it doesn't get your actual, your actual eyes dirty. Uh, you're just getting this clear plastic pipe and uh, it's a great addition to the gun. Other than that, um, this is overall an excellent gun. These guns are available in the pro shop currently at $349.95, an excellent choice. And uh, also let me know in the comments below what you would like me to compare this to other gun wise. So you wanna see this versus the mini, this is versus the shocker, whatever you wanna see, put it in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching guys, have a good day.